Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the mid-month of August, your 2022 reading for the Zodiac sign of Virgo. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much happiness, harmony, peace, and blessings. Welcome, welcome back. And if you are a cross watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us. Please remember to always go to our Heavenly Father God, first and foremost, and your entire spiritual team your beautiful angels and your ancestors, your healers, your helpers, your leaders, your guides are always here to support you and give you your most significant guidance. Please trust your intuition and do what you guys feel is best at all times. Okay. Listen to your intuition. It's there to help you and help guide you. It's like a navigational system. So appreciate it. Use it. Listen to yourself. You're going to be right. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Virgo, you guys are wonderful about keeping my channel going and growing. I cannot do it without you guys. So thank you so much for your love and light and support. You guys rock. If anybody wants to go the extra mile, I do have PayPal and a PO box listed in the description box below. Thank you in advance for any donations that you have given or plan on giving or will give. You guys are awesome. And thank you so much just for your energy. Just being here means an immense amount to me, you guys. So thank you so much. Virgo, this reading is in regards to the karma that your exes are receiving for breaking your heart, betraying you and hurting you. So this is going to get deep if it is too much to handle. Please click off. Everything has been prayed and meditated on. Pray for your enemies. Pray for lost souls. Pray for your exes and people who have wronged you. And don't ever stop praying for yourself. This reading is to give you guys a heads up about what's going on. Give you some preparation. And also, you know, people, when they resonate with pain, they understand that other people are going through it too. They're not alone. And you get to make sense of the divine and divine timing and how karma works and what's going on. So that's what it's really about. Okay. I hope this reading brings you guys healing and we are ready to jump in. So the overall energy here, Virgo, in regards to the karma that your exes are receiving includes them being afraid that you don't care anymore. So somebody is very fearful. They're scared that you are done. They're really scared. Okay. They're scared that you just don't care, but see when you cared and you were 100% in and you showed up and you gave your all, you did your best. You guys have nothing to feel bad about. You know, I've said this in other readings. I'm going to say it again. Do not hold your head down. Hold your head held high. Let them reap what they have sown because they did not care when they were betraying you, when they were cheating with him or her, when they were out here in these streets, when they were belittling you, talking down on you, talking to you like you meant nothing making sure that you felt bad, betrayed you when you were at your lowest and going through things when they should have supported you. They should have been loyal. They should have loved you. They should have been everything that you were to them. You were their everything. And they're now realizing that. And for a lot of them, it is too late because you guys have cut off this connection and walked away. You are, have you have learned to disassociate with people who don't express themselves, who cannot communicate respectfully. Like this person was real disrespectful. And it could be more than one ex, but they're afraid that you don't care. Now they are dealing with a robot energy. So the person they went towards is cold and mean. There's no love and intimacy here. It's just lust, sex, and trickery. They have a robot, somebody who does the same thing over and over again. You brought a smile to their face. You brought the sunshine. You gave them love when some of their own family members and friends turned their back on them and gave up on them. You saw something in them where this could work and it could have worked and they should be ashamed of themselves for throwing this connection away by lying and abandoning you and betraying you and being flighty and in and out cheating on you. It's like this person caused you a lot of grief, a lot of crying days and nights and unnecessary stress. You didn't need that. And they were stubborn. They were not willing to change. You know, this person was beyond stubborn. They weren't willing to compromise and work with you. So you guys had to cut them loose and do what you guys felt was best for your own happiness. When you ask questions about certain cheating scandals and things you heard and texts you receive and evidence and just your own, you know, inklings, your own intuition, your own gut feelings, they dismissed it. They were in denial. They acted like it didn't happen. You know, this person denied everything. I mean, oh my goodness. I feel like a lot of you guys had to suppress your pain. You guys walked on eggshells. You're not doing that anymore. You guys had enough 
you guys had enough. You've grown past this person and their lies and games and, you know, always denying the truth. But the truth sets everybody free. It comes out. It's relieving. You know, they lied about money. They lied about their whereabouts. And the ancestors are not pleased by this person's actions towards you. And this is why they're suffering. This is why it's their turn to cry. And they are going to break down. They're bored with the robot. <laughs> they're um, karmics. They're so bored. You know, you brought the fun and excitement. And, you know, you had a good balance of care and respect and love and loyalty. And you guys have to learn to raise your standards and vibrations and value yourself. You guys learned to love yourself. You guys paid attention to the signs and synchronicities. And you started giving yourself more self-love and self-care and peace. And you did the right thing. And the more you guys got away from these lower vibrational energies, the better you felt. You can breathe better. You can sleep better. You can eat better. You just feel like like the weight has been lifted off your shoulders and now these people are rageful they have the audacity to be angry and upset how dare you love yourself how dare you pull back your energy and not talk to them and not give it to them and not believe them because they did everything to lose your trust you know lying and games will do it cheating will do it they didn't make time for you they didn't take you out on dates and be emotionally available to you like they should have you tried to have certain conversations and it was like talking to a wall, like a brick wall. It's like they stonewalled you. They didn't let you in. They just took from you. And if they had to lie to get your money, they did it. If they had to lie to get sex, they did it. But the, here's the thing. They didn't have to do it. They chose to do it for their own selfish reasons. And it's, it's reaping season. You know, these people are being canceled. These people are being put in a place where they have to see themselves, even though they don't want to see that mirror. You are the mirror. And look here. Thank you, God. Look at this card. You're a reflection of their insecurities. You are the mirror they're forced to see. Anytime they think of you, and believe me, they see you, they dream you, they think of you nonstop, 24-7, because they have to remember what they did to you. Even the things they lied said, they don't remember because they were drunk. That was a lie. They don't remember because, you know, somebody did this and that to them, and, you know, you know you're making up things, and they're twisting up your stories, and you're the one who's crazy, and you're the one who's lying. No, it's them, and everybody is seeing them for who they truly are. You reflect their insecurities because you have learned to be more confident, more self-aware, more secure in who you are. It's like you guys went through a total transformation. You found your purpose and realized you guys are amazing. You're brilliant. You guys are powerful, okay? You guys are ambitious, and all these experiences taught you a lot of valuable lessons about life and about your wants and desires and to never put yourself last. Okay. Don't ever do that. Do not ever diminish who you are in your light. Don't lower your vibration for somebody else. You guys are worth high vibrations, good people, loyalty, love, respect, honor, and integrity. Stand in that. They chose a prostitute gold digger over you. Somebody who was only after their money or they paid these people for money. I'm sorry for money. They paid these people for sex. That's what they did. A gold digger. They got somebody who's only after those pockets. That's it. Now they're in complete darkness. They feel alone. They feel like you are the key to their happiness. But they have to understand the key to their happiness is within. You taught them how to live a better, more happier, peaceful life. But they chose not to because they thought they can have their cake and eat it too. They thought they can have the gold digger, the prostitutes, the, you know, car mix and have you. They wanted it all. They were beyond greedy. You know, it's like gluttony. They wanted too much. They overindulged. You know, some of them may be on medications. They may be overindulging in medications, what I'm hearing. And now it's like you're very enticing to them because they see your strength. You're glowing. You come across as somebody who's irresistible because you're giving yourself a lot of love and respect. You're focusing on what matters. Your career, respect, going back to school, doing things for yourself, being positive, meditating, praying. And these people are being rebellious for reaction. So they're putting on different shows and clowning out here in these streets and acting a complete fool. These are idiots. Low level idiots is what your exes are doing. They have become an embarrassment because they'll do anything for attention. So they're attention seeking. And they don't mind hurting someone else's feelings or saying something to get somebody to clap back or have a reaction. I, th I feel like you guys have learned to give them nothing. It's like they can't even read your energy. It's like all, the only thing they really understand is that they're blocked from you. You guys did the right thing blocking them out of your life. And now they're being cheated on by these karmics. They're being played with. Everything they did to you is coming back times two times ten. Spirit don't play, okay? Spirit does not play. 
they had you chasing after them and they loved it. They loved the back and forth, rhythm and roll, um, let's play the games, chaser and runner and all that. You guys got tired of not being able to depend on them. They were never reliable and they lack drive and determination. They don't feel like their life is going anywhere. They are not driven to go be better and do better. They're not elevating. They're not growing, not personally, not spiritually. You know, they're, they, they're stuck and they put themselves in a place of darkness. They don't see themselves even coming out of it. So they're not determined to win. They're just determined to act a fool and keep going just so people can give them attention. And, you know, I think you guys are just done with the games because they enjoy it. They enjoy playing games. They enjoy, I mean, they love nothing more than to laugh and sit back and make fun of others and put you down and hurt you. And now that they're being hurt and the games are being played on them, it doesn't feel good. And they were given signs about this connection that you have with them. So this could have been a twin flame, soulmate, soul type connection or a spiritual connection, something where you guys could have worked together and had a home, had a partnership. Some of you guys did have a marriage or relationship, but they left you, they left you in the dark. And now that's where they are sitting and they can't see their way through. It's like, I'm here and they're spiritually blocked. They're in spiritual jail. That means they're facing nothing but consequences every which way they turn. Spirit has this person running around in circles because they didn't look up the signs. They didn't care. They knew spirit was calling them to raise their vibration and be better and spiritually develop and grow. And they chose not to deliberately. This, this was on purpose. And this is because they don't have your bravery. They chose not to be brave. They chose not to step up. It was more important for them to impress their friends, laugh and stay immature and play games very immature person. I mean, very. And you're you're just graceful. Virgo, you guys are beautiful. You guys are deep thinkers. Everybody knows that. Very reliable people. You guys are bright, educated, charming, and clever. And they became very envious and jealous of you. So you guys be careful with that because these people who are so evil, they, they want people to fall with them. They want people to be with them. You guys know misery loves company, but you're not hanging with them. You're not calling them back. You're not texting them. They broke too many deals. Um, they had a disregard for any standards that you guys had. You guys told these people, I don't tolerate cheaters. And you meant what you said. You let these people know that, you know, if I can't trust you, there's nothing here. So they kept playing games until they played the wrong one. They played you and lost. So ultimately they played themselves right out of this connection and into the hands of karmics and robots and people who are running game on them. And they know they lost big when they lost you. And every time they turn around, they take in another loss. They're taking another loss, losing money, losing their mind. Um, they need to go to the doctor and get checked too because these prostitutes are sleeping with everybody. These karmics that they're dealing with are not all clean. Everybody's not using protection. It's just anything goes. These people are living wild and reckless. And like I said, they're jealous of you. They're envious. You guys be careful of this energy. You know, this it's never good to be with a partner who's jealous of you or somebody who gets jealous easily because they turn that into control. And this is why some of you guys had to walk on eggshells and stuff because they want to control your life, you know, some of them want to control what you were, what you wear or, um, the clothes you were wearing and, um, who you were around your friends and what time you can come home. And, you know, where were you? And then, you know, it was just like, you know, like a guard dog or something like that. It's like, they were just doing too much and they're envious of you because they knew your light outshined them. They knew you guys would discover yourself and that's, and they hoped you never would. They hoped you never would, but when they saw you guys working on your shadow side and, you know, elevating, spiritually growing, making moves, networking, and going after your wishes, goals, and dreams, is that scared them? You know, I feel like deep down, they knew you would discover yourself. They always hoped you wouldn't, especially when they started getting the signs. They may not have known that at first, but when they got those signs from spirit, seeing the 1111s and or certain numbers, certain synchronicities, five, 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 whatever it is that they saw, certain dreams, certain downloads that they had of you. They know they knew spirit was telling them something significant. They were supposed to pray about it. They were supposed to work with you and converse and communicate about this and partner up and make a plan and be a teammate, be a family, show love and grow and just build something strong, build a business, build something amazing because you guys could have been a power couple together, but you outgrew them because they stunted their growth when they started turning to their addictions and lower vibrational people. And, you know, some of them may feel like they're very attractive and that, yeah, they can get somebody, but they can't replace your energy. Anybody can get somebody, anybody can get a boyfriend or girlfriend, but you are 
rare, like a rare diamond. You guys cannot be replaced Virgo. And this is their lesson to learn. You know, anybody can get somebody, but it's like, there's a difference between a man and a male. There's a difference between a female and a woman. These are lessons they have to learn how to love themselves, how to get it right with God and go God's way. And now they have to watch you be blessed up. All of your blessings are coming in. The things that you hoped for, worked hard for and prayed for, they're coming to you. Better opportunities, better options, better love interest, offers coming in left and right. Beautiful things happening for you going towards your success. You guys, while they're not driven, you are. You're going after the things that bring you harmony, happiness, and pleasure, as you should. You definitely should. Your exes were very dishonest, and you know this. They were disloyal, they were dishonest, and they broke the connection. They put you into competitions with other men and women. They put work before you, money before everything. They found any excuse to put before you while they couldn't meet up with you and make time for you to rub your back, rub your feet, run, run you a bath, cook you a dinner, take you out on a date, have a conversation, just enjoy the intimacy. They took that from you. Now they have a robot, no intimacy, no love, just sex, love, and it's boring. It's, it's ridiculous what they've done and they have many blockages. So they're blocked spiritually. They're blocked emotionally. They're blocked romantically, definitely from you, you know, physically, you're not messing with this person. You don't even want them to touch you. You don't trust them. You know, you feel like they're a walking disease and they do need help and I hope they get it. A lot of them are going to go bankrupt. They're losing money and this may cause some of them to lose their mind because a lot of these people love these material things and money and superficial things over what's more important. You are important. Together, you guys could have built that powerhouse and had a lot of money and a lot of uh, abundance, you know, good health and generational wealth. The things that you wanted are real and they're tangible and you're going to have it without them. They're going to watch you and they hurt and they're going to be hurt and they're broken hearted too. Don't, don't think that they're not just because they put on this clown act, you know, the mask is off. They lost the best thing that ever happened to them and they know it. They hurt a lot of people, including you. And now they're broken. They're broken hearted. Now they're going to hurt. And in the end, they know you were the best thing that ever happened to them. They know you were the best for them. They know they had the best life with you. They had the best chances with you and they will forever feel that way. And they have to live with knowing that they want you back and they will always want you. Like I said, you guys are the best thing that ever happened to them. They know it. You help them build websites. You help them build up their self-esteem. You help them be encouraged to be better. You guys are highly intuitive. You told them who to watch out for, what type of friends would betray them. Like you were like an earth angel to them and they just completely, completely threw this beautiful union away. You guys were a friend. You were a confidant. You guys were healers. You came to heal this person and help this person. And it could have been very beautiful and successful and they threw it away. And now they are broken and they're heartbroken. And you guys are healing. Continue to heal. Pray for them. Pray for yourselves. Let God and let go. Let them reap what they have sown so that they can grow and learn. This is the learning world. We're all here to do that. You guys are awesome and amazing. Never forget who you are. You guys are powerful. You're you're strong. You can do it. Stay enthusiastic about life. And keep going no matter what. Keep going forward. You guys have great things ahead. Greater things ahead. Okay, Virgo, this has been your reading for the mid-month of August, year 2022. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I hope that you guys have a lot of healing and understanding and preparation. Like I said, stay prayed up. I wish you all abundance, happiness, beautiful blessings on blessings, lots of success, romantic love, relationships, and just joy. Lots of joy to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Virgo.